Hey, I don't know about you, but I've always been a huge fan of Yancey Gates, and I've never understood why the guy had so many critics. <laughs> okay, so I was one of the critics, as were you. But major props to Mick and Yancey. Consider where this team was and where it is right now, and the 180, the spinning of a negative into a positive. Go back to February. February 5th, the loss to Pitt. Yancey was suspended for that game. February 13th, the St. John's game at home, the loss. The day the booze came raining down on Yancey. Look, Bearcat fans never needed 20-10 and 10 every night from Yancey Gates. They didn't need a double-double every night. They did need him to care and give a consistent effort on each end of the floor, and that wasn't happening. At the time, some close to Mick thought they'd be better off without Yancey. I thought they'd be better off without Yancey. Mick thought he could make it work. Yancey thought he could make it work. Together, they have made it work. Seven games since then, UC is 6-1. and one. Yancey's averaged 16 points and 8 rebounds a game in that span. He's shooting nearly 60% from the field, over 70% from the free throw line. As a result, UC is a better basketball team on each end of the court. Major credit to both for salvaging something that could have very quickly gone south to end a season. Back then, we wondered uh, if UC was better off without Yancey Gates. Today, you have to wonder where they would be without Yancey Gates.